Good morning. My name is Angela and I'm here to do preschool story time with you. I'm a children's librarian with the San Mateo County Library System. And you can get our um, everything on our website at this address. It's smcl.org. And all the books that I'm going to be reading to you today, you can get from, from our address here. And they're from the Access 360 platform. So we have that one and we have others as well where you can read books and you can have books read to you. Um, you can get uh, movie streaming, you can get um, free music, and then you can also look up our um, schedule so you can view other programs that we have, like the STEM one that um, was before me, that came on before I did. Okay, all right, so let's start our story time. And the way I always start my story time is with my fingers. Can you show me your fingers? Wiggle them, wiggle them, put them in the air. Wiggle them, wiggle them, mess them in your hair. Wiggle them, wiggle them, give a little clap. Wiggle them, wiggle them, put them in your lap. All right, good job. So now I have to share my screen with you so that you can view the book as I read it. Okay, so the first one, oh, you know Pete the Cat, right? Everybody knows Pete the Cat. And this one's called Pete the Cat, the Pete's Go Marching. Look at all those Pete's. And this is by James Dean and is read with permission from Harper Collins. All right, and this is a singing book, okay? So I'm gonna be singing it because Pete loves music. Do you remember what he plays? He plays an instrument, remember? Um, we'll see in the book what he plays. If, if you're not familiar with Pete the Cat, Look what else is happening here. There's a rain cloud for some reason. And there's rain. Oh, look, there's a little bus. The Pete's go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The Pete's go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The Pete's go marching one by one. The groovy one stops to have some fun. And they all go marching down to town get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look, see, there's Pete playing his instrument. It's a guitar. Yeah, and then these symbols here, these are music symbols. So it means that there's music. How many Pete's are here? There's two. And there's that rain cloud. The Pete's go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The Pete's go marching two by two. Hurrah. Hurrah, the Pete's go marching two by two. The groovy one stops to meet the crew. There's the crew, that means that's his band. And they all go marching down to town to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. It doesn't seem like they'll ever get out of the rain because it's following them. Isn't that funny? All right, and you can march along with this while I'm reading it too. The Pete's go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The Pete's go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The Pete's go marching three by three. The groovy one stopped for a tambourine. It says tambourines for sale. He's gonna get one. And they all go marching down to town to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. And let's count the Pete's just to make sure there's three. One. Two, three. The Pete's go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The Pete's go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The Pete's go marching four by four. The gooby one stops by at the store. There's this, or the music store. And they all go marching down to town to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's count the pizza on this page. So these, this is a separate page, okay? Because I know some of you are probably saying, wait, there's more pizza on, th on that side. But this, see here, this line here, it divides the two pages. So let's count the pizza on this page. One, two, three, four. There are four. Just like the song said, right? <clears throat> the pizza go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The Pete's go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The Pete's go marching five by five. The groovy one stops to take a drive. 
and they all go marching down the town to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so there's his bus, his um, tour bus, that's what it says here. And let's count how many pizza are. So now there's only pizza on uh, both pages that we count. One, two, three, four, five, because this is one picture all together. The peats go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching six by six. The groovy one stops to pick up sticks. And they all go marching down to town to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's see how many peats there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's picking up a drumstick from the duck, right? The peats go marching seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching seven by seven. The groovy one stops to play rock and roll heaven. And they all go marching down to town to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. You know what's next, right? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And did you notice they all have different colored shoes? Should we go over what color the shoes are? This one's red. How about this one? Green, purple, yellow. This is another green. It's darker though. It's darker than the other green. Orange, blue. The peats go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching eight by eight. The groovy one stops for his bandmates. He's stopping to wait for them. They all go marching down to town to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look at that. It says concert tonight at 7 p.m. Let's make sure there are eight peats here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The peats go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching nine by nine. The groovy one stops to check the time. And he's saying, time to rock. And they all go marching down to town to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. If you remember, it said that the concert starts at 7. And that it says on the clock that it's 7 o'clock. And that's why Pete's saying it's time to rock. So it's 7 o'clock when the short hand is pointing to the 7 and the long hand is pointing to the 12. And how many Pete's are on this page? You said nine, right? So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. The peats go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The peats go marching ten by ten. All right, let's count them really quick. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's a band. It's all set. Band's all set up. The groovy one stops to shout, "The end!" And they all cheer for Pete the Cat to rock out in the rain. All right, that's the end of the book. It's fun. I like Pete the Cat. And there's the back of the book. It says. The peats go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Sing along with this cool cat in his groovy new version of the classic kids song, The Ants Go Marching. <clears throat> so I have to apologize because I seem to have a little horse in, horse in my throat. <laughs> my voice is a little hoarse. All right, I'm going to stop sharing. All right, so I have a um, song now, and it, this one's called This Is The Way. And so we're going to um, pretend like we're playing instruments because that's what happened in the book, right? Pete the cat and all, all the other Pete the cats 
um, and his uh, bandmates were playing instruments. So this is the way the song goes, okay? This is the way we strum guitar. How do you strum a guitar? That's right. Strum guitar, strum guitar. This is the way we strum guitar so late in the evening. And we say late in the evening because that's when concerts usually are. They're pretty, they run pretty late. <laughs> All right, how about drums? What do we do with drums? We bang on the drums, right? This is the way we bang on the drums, bang on the drums, bang on the drums. This is the way we bang on the drums so late in the evening. How about playing piano? You know how you play piano? You go like this. Kind of looks like spiders. <laughs> this is the way we play piano, play piano, play piano. This is the way we play piano so late in the evening. Don't forget your thumbs. All right, how about a tambourine? We shake it, right? Can we do that for shaking the tambourine? We can pretend we can hear it. <laughs> this is the way we shake tambourine, shake the tambourine, shake the tambourine. This is the way we shake the tambourine so late in the evening. I think with a guitar and drums, piano and tambourine, we've got a band. Cool. All right, good job. Thanks for doing that with me. Good job. All right, let's go on to our second book. This, and this one is called Peanut Butter and the Jellyfishes. And this is by Brian P. Cleary. And the illustrations are by Betsy E. Snyder. And the illustrations means the pictures. So Betsy E. Snyder drew the pictures. And this is a very silly alphabet book. And what do we see on the cover here? This looks like maybe an octopus, huh? Or maybe it's a jellyfish. And the jellyfish is holding peanut butter sandwiches. That's silly. I don't know if they have peanut butter sandwiches in the ocean. Do you? All right, so that's the title page. And this is read with permission from Learner Publications or Mill and Millbrook Press. A is for antelopes forming an arc. So if you look at this book, you can see where all the A's are too. So here's a big A and here are the little A's. And he's making an arc, the antelope. B begins birch trees. There's a birch tree with bubblegum bark. The bark is made out of bubblegum. That's silly. Oh, and look, there's a bee over here floating away. And what does it look like? It looks like it's a balloon, right? C is for a cat with a calico coat. There's a kitty wearing a coat who camps by a castle and cooks by a moat. She's going camping. Do you ever go camping? And there's a castle. Oh, look, what's in the moat? So a moat means um, uh, they dig all the way around the castle and they fill it with water so people can't cross and go into the castle. But look who's sleeping in the moat. It's a crocodile. And that starts with a C too. D, there's D, starts Dalmatian, a dog who's been spotted. There's a Dalmatian. E, there's the E, is for each evergreen Elvis potted. Elvis, who's Elvis? There's Elvis. And his evergreen is in the shape of an E. Cool. F starts flamingo. There's your F right there. And there's a the flamingo. And G begins Gary the gerbil. Where's Gary the gerbil? There he is. Wearing a very colorful outfit. And H helps us say it's quite hairy. Oh, Gary the gerbil is hairy. He needs a haircut. And that's what flamingo's doing, right? Flamingo's cutting his hair. So there's your G. And there's your H for Harry. I is for ice cream, the size of an igloo. Wow, that's a lot of ice cream. There's your I. Do you like ice cream? So do I. I don't know anyone that doesn't like ice cream. J is for jars. Here's your J. Full of jasmine and wig glue. That's kind of funny, huh? Wig glue. 
I never even knew there was such a thing. So here are the jars, and here's a wig glue, and here's a wig. K starts karate. So here's a K. And kangaroos kissing. Here are the kangaroos. Oh, it looks like they just got married, maybe. It's a, a, a fancy carriage. And kilt wearing kittens. Here are the kittens. How many kittens are there? One, two, three, four kittens. And they're wearing kilts. And kilts is like a, like a skirt whose kickstands are missing. Oh no, they're missing their kickstands. But what are these kittens actually doing? They're riding their bikes, but they're actually pulling the fancy carriage. Oh, and here it says K Kingdom of K. L is for letters that start the word llama. There's a llama. And a bait, maybe this is a, an adult llama and maybe a baby llama, right? M begins motorbike. There's the motorbike. Makeup and mama. Oh, it's mama driving. So here's a motorbike and mama does have a little bit of makeup on. You can see she has lipstick. And here's the makeup brushes. And there's a, a mailbox that has an M on it. And here's a mouse. And mouse also begins with M. Yeah, so these pages are fun because they have pictures of things that start with that letter or a mountain, right? Right next, the M is on the mountain. N is for Newt. There's a Newt with a necklace. Yeah, he's wearing a necklace with an N on it. And it's also made out of noodles. That's silly, huh? There's N. O begins ostrich with oats by the oodles, right? The ostrich is carrying oats. That's what's in these bags. And I think this might be an oak tree. This also starts with O. And what is this that's sitting on top here? It's an owl, which also starts with O. P is for patterns on plates and on dishes. There's a P. And plain peanut butter on pink jellyfishes. Oh boy. And the, the jellyfishes carrying a picnic basket, which also starts with P. Q, here's Q, starts a quail who is quiet and quivers. Here's the quail. R is for rafting red raspberry rivers. Can you imagine a, a river made of red raspberries? It might taste good. S starts off saddles on seven blue ponies. Here are the ponies, and seven also starts with an S. There's your S, and let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. T is for tents filled with Tinas and Tonys. And there's a toucan standing on the T. Toucan also starts with T. U starts umbrellas unfolding uptown and underpants on an unusual clown. There's the underpants. Underpants starts with a U, an umbrella. And this is the clown. What kind of clown is it? It looks like a lamb clown. <laughs> v starts a veil wearing volleyball player. So veil is this thing that she's wearing on her head. W starts will who's a wallaby wear. So this is a wallaby playing violin, right? Violin starts with V. So up here is the V and the W. And what's that back there? Volcano starts with a V and the whale starts with W. X is the N sound of an ox and an X. Can you hear the X sound? Ox and X. So there's an X. And Y starts Yolanda with six yellow yaks. Look at the yaks up here. Can we count them? Is this their six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Z begins zebra and zipper and zoo. Here's z, z, zoo. Z. I know my ABCs. How about you? There's a zebra. 
Let's see, Can, should we um, read these, the alphabet? Here we go, they're all here on these balloons. A, B, C, D, E, F. Where's the G? Can you find the G? There it is, G, H, I. Where's the J? There it is, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Good job. Let's see, is that the end of the book? It is the end. That's the inside back cover. And that's the, that's the back of the book right there. Let's see what it says. Every letter of the alphabet is hidden in the pictures of this book. So are many things that start with each letter. There are things that end with the sound of X too. How many can you find? Look at the beginning and the end of the book for help. Cool. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> that was fun. That's a lot of silly animals. And the pictures were so colorful. I really like the pictures. And you can see lots of things in there. Um, so um, we're going to do a song called, Are You Listening? And this is about the animals, some of the animals that we saw in that um, book, okay? This is how it goes. And you have to do the animal sounds now. And I know you know the animal sounds. So the first one is a cat. What does a cat say? Meow, right? Are you listening? Are you listening to the cat? To the cat? Hear the cat calling, hear the cat calling. Meow, 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 meow. All right, how about a dog? Remember the dog that was in the book? Yep, Spots, he was a Dalmatian. Are you listening, are you listening to the dog, to the dog? Hear the dog calling, hear the dog calling. What does the dog say? Ruff, 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 ruff. Ruff. All right, how about pony? Remember the seven ponies in the book? Are you listening? Are you listening to the pony? To the pony? Hear the pony calling. Hear the pony calling. What do horses say or ponies? Nay, 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 nay. All right, do you remember the yak? They had the, the yellow yaks that were pulling. Okay, and if you don't know what a yak sounds like, I looked it up, and yaks go, mm. <laughs> they grunt. I didn't know that. Anyway, so let's sing with about the yak. Are you listening? Are you listening to the yak? To the yak? Hear the yak calling. Hear the yak calling. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> That's funny, huh? All right, we have one more. And this is not an animal, but do you remember there was a motorbike in the story? Yeah, and the motorbikes, they rev, right? They go, rum, rum. Are you listening? Are you listening to the motorbike? To the motorbike? Hear the motorbike calling. Hear the motorbike calling. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. All right, good job. Okay, we have one more book. And this one is called Frogs and Toads. And this is by Camilla Gersh and DK Inc. And read with permission from DK Publishing. So here you see, this is a red-eyed frog. Look at his red eyes. Okay. And there is the title page. Croak, the frogs and toads have come to see you. Look at all the different frogs and toads. There's big ones and little ones, green ones. Oh, and there's a blue one. And here's that red-eyed frog. Common frogs live near ponds and in tall grass. Here's the pond that he's in and there's his eye. That's what this is pointing to. And these are some of the common frogs. And this says grass. You know what grass is, right? 
Common toads have no teeth. They have very long tongues. There's his mouth. There's his tongue. Oh, look what he's getting to eat. It's a mealworm. These are some common toads. Oh, there's one up there too. This one looks kind of mad, huh? Urgh. Bullfrogs make very deep sounds like bulls. Here's his eardrums. Here's his eye. What's he saying? Croak. They make, they're very loud too. <laughs> Mantellas can be many colors, black, blue, orange, yellow, or green. These are called mantellas. They're little, little frogs. There are in all different colors, aren't there? Aren't they? Orange and green, yellow. This one looks kind of reddish, like an orange red. Burrowing toads dig holes with their back feet. Their back feet are shaped like spades. There he is with his back feet. And there's the hole that he's in. These are burrowing toads. An animal could die if it eats a poison dart frog. Oh no, because his skin is poisonous. There's a snake looking like he wants to eat him. Cane toads are some of the biggest toads in the world. He has bumpy skin and there's his eye. Tree frogs can be tiny. They live and hide in trees. There's his throat. There's the tree branch. Fire belly toads have bright bellies that scare animals away. There's his belly. These are, these are his spots. They're black, right? The skin of glass frogs can be seen through like glass. Isn't that funny? Never even heard of those kind of frogs. You can see through their skin and his round fingers. Other frogs have round fingers and webbed feet. Clawed frogs have pointed claws. Here, clawed fit. Here are the clawed frogs down here, more of them. Horned frogs have horns that look like big pointed eyebrows. Look at that. There. <laughs> he looks funny, huh? Interesting. The frogs and toads jump away, off they go. Croak, can you leap like a frog? Here they are jumping. All right, that's the end of the book. All right, so we're reaching our um, time here. So I'm gonna have to sing our closing song. Do you remember our closing song? We're gonna open our hands. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Raise your hands up high, high, high. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Time to say goodbye, bye, bye. Now don't forget to check out our website for all the other programs that we have. We have something every single day, okay? All right, so my name is Angela. This, this was Preschool Storytime, and I will be back next time. Bye-bye.